Okay, now we're going to move on to Unit 1, Lesson 1, Section 4, Exercise 6. And the instructions tell us to, number one, say it in English, and number two, diagram sentences one, three, six, and nine. I'm going to walk you through this slowly. So we're going to read first in Latin. It says, Nautai terom laudont. So we have Nautai, which means sailor. So Naut is the stem for sailor of Nauta, Nautai. And we have the ending of I, A-E. And we see A-E ending three times in the first declension. It can be genitive singular, dative singular, and nominative plural. So get in the habit of marking it out, even if you haven't learned these. It's important that you get in the habit of identifying where it belongs now before it, we get it too much deeper. So our second word we have is teram. So teram is stem T-E-R-R. -R. This is from the word terra, terai. And so we have the ending A-M. So A-M is found only in the accusative singular. An accusative singular means that this is the direct object of our sentence. And moving on to the last word is laudant, and that is our verb. And we look at the ending when we think OST, mustus nt, nt would be our third person plural. So we need to have our verb agree in number with our subject. So if this is our subject, indeed, like nominative plural can be, plural, plural, they agree. We're going to go ahead and say that that is our subject. So our sentence is nautai, the sailors praise the land. So diagramming this, we're going to put our subject first, N-A-U-T-A-E, and then we have our verb, which is laudant, L-A-U-D-A-N-T, and after that we have our direct object with just a line that stops right here, and that will be Next up we have number three, which is Maria Silvas Laudat. So Maria or Maria is Mari is our stem, a uh, is our ending. Well the only place we have a short A in the first declension is our nominative singular. So that is very easy to identify Maria as our subject. Then we have sil silwas, and silwas is silw as our stem, and as as our ending. And as, if we look at our first declension endings, is only accusative plural. So we'll go ahead and write accusative plural. And that leaves us with our verb, verbs standing last in the sentence. And we have laudat. Looking at the ending of our verb, it is just a plain T. So our O-S-T, mustustnt, tells us that this is third person singular. Does our verb agree with our subject? It does. They're both singular. So we have Mary praises the forest. And if you're thinking back to when we talked about forests sometimes being translated the plural back to the singular, so it could be Mary praises the forest. This time in your answer key, they did not do that and they left it plural. So we're going to go ahead and start by writing our subject, Maria, with a line going just past. And then we're going to have our verb, L A U. D A T and a line stopping at the next line and we'll have our direct object Silwas. And lastly, we are gonna go for number six. We have Prowinkium non Ladant. So Prowinkium is province and we know Prowinki is our stem and am 
is our ending, and om is found in the first declension accusative singular. Then we have non, which is our adverb modifying the very next word, our verb. So this is going to be affecting laudant. And laudant is our verb and it's praise. And we're going to look at the ending right here. And it is nt. So that would be our third person plural. Well, what do we know? We know our verb and our subject need to agree in number. So this can't be our subject if that is singular and this is plural. We also know it's not the subject because it is accusative and accusative is always the direct object. So where is our subject? Well, right there, there's our subject. Sometimes they'll name what it is, sometimes they won't. So we know NT means they. So if we were gonna say this sentence, we would say they do not praise the province. So diagramming, our subject goes first, right? We don't have one written out, but we know it's they. So we're gonna go ahead and write they right here in our parentheses, a line down. We're gonna say praise. And then we have a modifier, right? Our adverb is modifying. So we're gonna put known right here and another line going down, stopping at the line, and we're gonna have proinquium. Proinquium. There you go.